Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to NCX Tech. And today in this video, we are going to take a quick look at the Qtfish OS. Actually, Qtfish OS is a Linux distribution based on Debian 11, Bullseye, and it is one of the most beautiful modern Linux distribution. But this is currently under development, so this may have some bugs, and it is not recommended to use it as a daily driver. And this is the latest version of Qtfish OS version 0.6 so there you can see the clean design the top bar and the dock at the bottom make it look like mac os so in the top panel there we have time and then sound and power settings so inside this we have wi-fi and dark mode switcher so we can turn it on or off directly from here and volume there we have date and settings so wi-fi and dark mode settings inside audio and power settings looks strange so as i told you this is currently under development so i hope this will get fixed and there we have input method so at the dock there we have launcher file manager terminal chromium web browser as its default web browser and settings Calculator, Package Installer, Screenshot, Video Player, and Trash. So first I'm going to check System Resource Uses in a fresh boot. So for this let, let me open Terminal and then type as top whether or not it's installed. So it's not installed. So let me install this. sudo apt install as top so it's now installed so let me run it as top so on a fresh boot the ram uses is 770 mb out of 2 gb and this is a little higher than i expected so let me close this So let's check other informations simply by running NeoFetch. So there we have the OS is Debian 11 Bullseye. So the kernel that we are using currently is 5.10 and packages. So 1219 packages are installed by default. And the desktop environment is Qtfish and the window manager is Kwin. So let me close this. So for now, workspaces is not available. So I hope it will be included in its later release. So as I open file manager, there you can see the top panel do have global menus. And it is working good. So we can close this from here as well and the windows with the rounded corners looks very beautiful so in the file manager there we have our favorite folders at the left and the drives so and as i right click on it they will have option to create a new folder select open in terminal so hidden files so we can view the hidden files here or simply we can undo this so as i open the application menu so there we have only few number of apps available archive manager calculator chromium document viewer file manager gparted as a disk utility software image viewer input method install system so this is the installer keyboard layout viewer package installer so let me open this so this package installer is the debian package installer so if you have any debian package you can install it from here and then screenshot 
settings system monitor terminal text editor video player so this seem to be a very minimal distro we don't even have any office suite and audio player as well so let me install vlc from the terminal so simply by typing sudo apt install vlc y okay so it's now installed so there we have vlc media player so we can make it the default audio or video player and also the global menu is working properly with vlc media player and let me open settings so there we have wlan ethernet bluetooth proxy and display settings so on the display there we have resolution refresh rate rotation and scaling And under appearance, there we have theme, light theme or dark theme. We can choose it from here. So if I apply dark theme, so this looks really nice. But this dark theme is not supported by the Chromium browser. Also there we have option to dim the wallpaper in dark theme. So if you turn it on and as you turn on the dark theme, it will dim the wallpaper. You can see there so as I turn it off it's normal but as I turn it on it is dim also you can turn on or off the system effects so you can choose the minimize animation from here accent colors and on the background, they will have a collection of some beautiful wallpapers. And also there we have a setting available for the dark. So first we have dark style. Whether we want it on the center or full. And its position on the screen left right or bottom and the size of the dock so small medium large hues so you can choose the size of the dock as well so display mode always show always hide or smart hide so smart hide will actually hide the dock as it overlaps with any other window like this this is not working actually don't know why so if I maximize this now it's hidden okay Also we have user settings, sound, mouse, time and date settings, language, power. So under power there we have two different options, power saver or performance mode. So if you are running on a battery power, so it's better you use power saver mode. Otherwise you can choose performance mode. So overall, Qtris OS is a visually stunning Linux distribution 
but since this is currently under development process so we can't use it as a daily driver and also this doesn't seem to be a complete Linux distribution so I'm eagerly waiting for its stable release and let me know your thoughts in the comment section so I hope you enjoyed today's video and if so please like this video and please subscribe my channel I always hope for your support thanks for watching have a nice time